Buongiorno a tutti! Welcome back to my little kitchen here in Lecce in the south of Italy. My name is Francesco and today I'm going to prepare something using one of my favourite spice mixes and that is Ras Al Hanout. This is a Moroccan spice mix, the name itself translates as house blend, so each spice merchant would make his own family blend of spices and it's always aromatic and delicious, it's mild and uh, the one I'm using is called Ras Al Hanout Jaune, which means yellow in French. So I'm presuming there's a little bit more turmeric in there. In any case, it's really delicious and I'm going to be using it to make a dish using bulgur reed and a few vegetables. I'm using red bell pepper, zucchini and onion. I'm going to add some pine nuts and raisins and a little bit of chili for a bit of heat. So it's another simple recipe, colorful and healthy, and I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please give me that thumbs up and do leave a comment. And yes, subscribe to the channel, come back and follow me for more. Let's cook. For today's recipe you are going to need one cup of bulgur wheat, a medium red pepper, a zucchini, an onion, two teaspoons of raisins, one teaspoon of pine nuts, chili flakes to taste, a heaped teaspoon of Ras Al Hanout jaune spice, parsley and a good extra virgin olive oil. First thing we're going to do is to remove the flesh from the seeds of the bell pepper. We're going to remove the stalk and we're going to cut the rest into a fine dice. We're then going to remove the ends of the zucchini and cut it into the same fine dice. We only have a few ingredients here and yet this is going to be enough to make two really satisfying portions. So with the zucchini finely chopped, we're going to do the same thing with an onion. Peel it and cut it into a fine dice. We're then going to chop a little bit of parsley finely and that's all of our prep work done. Now we can have fun cooking. We're going to go straight over to a saucepan in which we've added a good pinch of coarse sea salt to two cups of water. And then we're going to go straight in with our cup of bulgur wheat which we're going to stir and bring up to the boil. We're going to let it simmer away for 10 minutes while we prepare the other ingredients. First thing we're going to do is to toast those pine nuts in a dry frying pan for two or three minutes until they become nice and golden brown, like this. After 10 minutes of cooking, we're going to put the lid on the bulgur wheat and turn off the heat. Then we're going to heat a little bit of oil in a frying pan and go in with our onion. We're going to season this with a good pinch of salt and then we're going to stir fry it for two or three minutes until it begins to look slightly golden brown. Next we're going to add the peppers and we're going to stir these through and cook them for two or three minutes until they begin to soften. As the salt dissolves, it's going to make the onion and the peppers give off their juices and that's going to let them cook down more quickly. After about five minutes of cooking, we're going to add a good tablespoonful of Ras Al Hanout spice. We're going to add some chili flakes and the raisins. We're going to stir these through and let these continue cooking for a further two or three minutes.
Once the spices are nicely heated through, we're going to add the zucchini and we're going to stir this in and continue cooking. And this is going to take another three or four minutes. Make sure that everything gets well coated in those spices and turns a lovely golden color. And now it's just a matter of you deciding when the vegetables are cooked enough for your liking. In the meantime, we're going to take a look at our bulgur wheat, which is fluffed up wonderfully. There's not any moisture left in there at all. And at this point, of course, we are ready to serve. In we go with the wheat, which is wonderful and tender. Then come the spicy and tasty vegetables. This is a wonderfully aromatic and mild spice blend that the whole family will enjoy. Topped with the toasted pine nuts. A sprinkle of parsley. And of course, a drizzle of your best extra virgin olive oil. Beautiful. And now that everything looks so pretty, we're going to mix it all up and then we're going to enjoy. Buon appetito.